clip here with um uh with what's his name? What show is he on? Chris is on a show with the guy. I forgot his name. It's really funny too. I actually like his podcast. It's very well produced and stuff. I love the little skits and the clips he does when he flicks his when he snaps his fingers and it goes to another scene or he does the commercial for his parents' carpet business. It's fucking incredible. I really do like it. It's really well put together. I forgot his name though. But here's another clip of um him talking to Crystal Lee, and I guess this is another real, another example of Crystal Lee and, Bren, and Brian Callen actually being friends, because of course you know the famous clip of uh, Brian Callen post Crystal Lee allegations saying we never hung out, we were never friends, and he's damaged. Honestly, that might be one of the worst cases of damage control. Yes, his name Rick Glassman. Sorry, I apologize. Rick Glassman, really good show. I really recommend you check it out. But Brian Kellen's kind of attempt to try to distance himself from Chris D'Elia might be one of the worst own goals I've make I think I've ever seen. In an attempt to distance himself and to kind of bury Chris D'Elia, um, because he didn't want to be associated with somebody that's diddling underage kids allegedly. Then the following week for him to get exposed or to get alleged that he's raped somebody, which I think is like far. I don't know, again. You're, you're comp- I'm comparing fucking Satan to fucking Hitler, but. Honestly, I think being accused of rape is far worse than diddling kids. Because at least with the diddling kids, you can make up some reason that you're into underage girl. I don't know. You're into very young girls and maybe you got tricked by somebody because they lied about their age. But to be accused of rape is really intense. Like, intense, intense. Like, that's that's something that's really hard to shake. So for him to go and say that he doesn't know Chris Lear is and then to get accused of rape, that's some pure, heavy duty, two ply, five ply, ten ply fucking karma coming back at you. But anyway, this is um, Chris Lear on Rick Glassman's podcast. Let's play the clip. Years ago, I wanted to try doing a podcast before I decided to do guests. Mm-hmm. And I asked you about it because you do a solo one. Yeah. And I tried a few and I never put them out. I know. I think I'm going to plug my Patreon. I'm going to start doing solos for Patreon. Oh, that would be cool. Um. How do you feel about talking to people as a podcast instead of guests? Do you think you shine better if there isn't somebody to share it with? Because I guess now you do King Sting and Wing. Yeah. Uh, What's the difference? I like to find my people and then fuck around. But I think that I'm best just kind of bullshitting and talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just me. Um, you know, occasionally I'll find somebody like Brian. Damn, Chris, man. He looks so much older now, isn't it? Like, again, he's never looked really young, but compare, that's the thing. Let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's zoom in a little bit, right? Compare this Crystalia on that little picture there, right? That one, compare it to this one. Again, that's, it's maybe, is it maybe three years apart? Because Joe Rogan's old studio in LA, right? Look how, again, he's, he doesn't look 21 or 19, don't get me wrong. But he looks way, way, way younger and full of life and verb and potential there than he does here, innit? And again, it's not like he's gained any weight. He's not got any fatter. His hair hasn't got any thinner. He's not losing his hair. He just looks exactly the same. He just looks way older and way more stressed and stuff. It's fucking crazy, innit, what a cancellation can do for you. That's why some people, when they say, oh, cancellation, cancel culture doesn't exist. It doesn't do anything. Maybe in the long run it doesn't. And I don't really agree with cancel culture in general, personally, for me. I feel like um, your fans should always be the ones that cancel you. I feel like your fans should be the only people to cancel you. I don't, I'm not a fan of corporations cancelling you, corporations black ba- blackballing you, or whatever it may be, or stopping your ability to feed your family. I feel like if your fans forgive you for whatever heinous crime you did, it just is what it is. For instance, a good example is fucking, fucking DSP, Dark Side Phil. I absolutely detest and hate that guy. I think he has the most... He's probably the most reprehensible and unlikable person online in the history of online content creation. I, I fucking hate Dark Side Phil for, to the nth degree. But I would never advocate for him to be cancelled. I always feel like if he's fucking dense, wake up and, you know, realise that he's taking them for a ride and he's scamming them essentially and, you know, hood, hoodwinking them out of their money in order for him to pay his fucking bills and to pay his rent, then fair enough. But... No one should be able to ban him from being able to make money just because they don't like him. Same with Chris, right? He might have done a really unforgivable thing or whatever it may be, but if his fans are fans of him, then it is what it is. But one thing cancer culture does do is that it does put you through a lot of stress because you go from being a fairly normal dude, enjoying your life, doing what you're doing, to suddenly everybody finding out about this weird sexual kink you have, everybody finding out about your deepest, darkest secrets, everyone finding out about all these things you've sent online. Again, 
I, I, I can't imagine somebody leaking my fucking DMs to girls I've tried to hit up like that. Must be so cringe and so awful. So it's all being exposed that way. There's a there's a Alice Hamilton woman who seems to have a real boner for Chris and wants to bury him. So she's going at him constantly. So I'm sure that plays a part in him end up looking like that. Do you know what I mean? Because he doesn't look that, you know, like these are not that far apart. and He's aged terribly, man. Like, so if people say cancer culture doesn't do anything, fair enough, it doesn't. It's not going to end most people's careers. You know, if you're, if you're successful enough, you can bounce back. Your fans will allow you. There's many other YouTubers out there who have done crazy things and their fans just keep loving them. It is what it is. I think that's the beauty of kind of content creation nowadays. But one thing it does do, it does stress you out. Like, it does. Excuse me? Jess, is that right? They banned Alice. No way. Alice Hamilton's been banned. No way. No way. I'm, I'm going to check that out right now. Alice Hamilton's been banned. I was going to check her out, actually. Alice Hamilton. Comedian Twitter. Let's see. They banned her. Well, I guess for... um, What's that word called? Uh, What's her name? She got banned. Where is she? What they banned her for? Um, what's that thing they called again? Not bullying, but what's it called? There's a term they use online if you, if you keep... Is it harassment or something? They burn her for harassment. Let's see. Oh my god. No, she was going hard in the paint at Chris. She was like posting those um DMs um from people. Was it OnlyFan models or something? I don't know what it was. I wasn't reading through the entire thing because it got a bit dark and it made me feel like, maybe bummed me out a bit. But she was going hard in the paint at Chris Delia, boy. She did not want to let up on him at all. Um let's see. Has she posted anything in a while? What she what she said? So I guess she's got suspended probably, isn't it? So she's probably not going to be able to post on her account for a while. Maybe they got they gave her a ban in terms of posting. But she was going at him a lot, boy. What's the last post that she made here? My computer's going slow, don't blame me. August the 29th, retweet. Okay, so a couple of days ago. Yeah, so she's, I guess, not tweeted anything in a while, then I guess, in a couple of days. Yeah, August 29th. <laughs> Look at this post she made about Crystal Lee. <laughs> Uh, staff at comp from comedy clubs at Leah's place always reach out to me to tell me how everyone hates the Leah and talk shit about him being a hack rapist pedophile behind his back Jesus Christ Alice Hamilton she fucking hates Chris so much and I remember seeing a post about her going that fucking Chris and Leah's wife also like oh how can you be with an abuser blah 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 she does not like that man um witness me what is it there's many more let's see so that's what my okay did this <laughs> what is this? Uh, Death Noodles, okay. Anything else about Chrissy? I can quickly see before I move on. But yeah, big up Alice Hamilton, man. She she has definitely got the foot on her neck. So yeah, that's probably a reason why you're going to be stressed out, do you know what I mean? If you're fucking, if you've got someone like that kind of coming after you consistently, foot on your neck, trying to fucking beat you up. Um, uh, okay, just as I know her, so I can ask her what the band was called. I'm going to interview her on the chat on my channel. Okay, cool, awesome. When you do interview, yeah, I'm going to check that. I'm going to keep an eye out for that one. I want to hear what she has to say because I'm curious to see what... I'm curious to know what her real end goal is because it feels like to me, unfortunately, she's fighting a bit of a... She's fighting a bit of a... She's fighting a... Um, what, what's that word called? Is it losers? Whatever that term is called. She's fighting a fight she can't really win, it feels like. Because for the most part, people don't really care. Because in most industries, you would imagine if you got accused of rape, or if you got accused of trying to touch up or trying to have sexual relations with girls who are underage or close to underage, that would be the legitimate end of your career in the industry. Forget your po podcast, you can do what you want. But industry-wise, in terms of getting bookings, you wouldn't get any more bookings, you're done. You know what I mean? But clearly they're not done. Chris is back out doing shows. Brian's out doing shows again. So in general, the community, the comedy industry doesn't necessarily care as much as they pretend they do care. So for all the good work that Alice Hamilton is doing by bringing all these um, instances and allegations and cases to light regarding Chris and these alleged instances, it's just, it is what it is. It's just people just hear them, they read them, they just keep it moving. It doesn't really move the needle, you know? That's the only thing about it that's really concerning. Um, so as much as it's good to see her doing it, I do feel like she's like pissing into the wind a little bit. People just don't seem to care. They just really don't. Like they really don't. Which is interesting too, because you'd imagine. This is my kind of 
again, I don't have any knowledge of this whatsoever, but I'd imagine the comedy community is probably similar to my kind of industry in terms of nightlife and clubs. I'd imagine in the comedy community, which is kind of hospitality adjacent, there's probably a lot of women that work in the back end of things that help run the, the whole situation in terms of running clubs, in terms of working behind the bar, working the kitchen, being wait staff, doing the door, like just in terms of just the, the inner workings, the nuts and bolts of that industry. There's a lot of women there. But for some reason, even though there's a lot of women in the industry, maybe not in front of the mic and stuff on stage, there's a disproportionate amount of men, for some reason, it doesn't seem to hit as much as it should do. These accusations of like assault and stuff, people just don't seem to give a shit. I wonder why. I wonder why, in general. Comedians seem to be able to get with absolute murder. Like, they're just, you know... For the most part, I get it if you've got your own podcast, right? If, you, if you're accused of what, you know, look at Lucy K. At the time, everyone was freaking out about what he did, but he's got his own fan base already built in. They didn't really care about what he got accused of, and he was able to just bounce back in it pretty easily. But the industry still hasn't forgiven him. That's fine, but your fans couldn't forgive you. But I think in general, in comedy, nowadays, the industry doesn't care and they can forgive you in enough time. And obviously, your fans are always there for you anyway, so... The only thing you do lose is like the industry Hollywood type of look and love, um, which unfortunately for these guys, that's what they really want. I mean, I don't think Chris Lee and Brian Cannon actually want to be comedians. I think they'd much prefer to be on the Hollywood circuit, doing red carpets, doing sh- fucking films with Ryan Reynolds and all that sort of shit. Do you know what I mean? They don't really care to be stand-ups. Stand-ups is just a way to kind of become more famous than the other thing, which is probably why they're never satisfied. But hey, maybe I'm psychoanalyzing too much. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, play the video. I paused it for way too long, innit? Fuck, I'm rambling. That, uh, like, we just fucking are so silly together and we love it and people kind of Does that work because he plays submissive to you? I don't, I don't know. Sometimes he doesn't, though, you know? Sometimes he's just like, I'm the man, you know? But I guess it is. The real it's always, it's always, it always feels like, I've only seen it so much. Yeah, I guess you're right, But though. it does feel like him saying that always is like a little boy who's pumping yes, his chest. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um... Yeah, and the and thing I do with you know Theo and Eric and um, and Brendan is like is great, but um, I do think that like my is great. That's the most least encouraging endorsement of a show that you're on that ever, isn't it? <laughs> podcast, just me. Also, like not a lot of people do their solo ones, right? Like I, I don't. I it's did. it's very hard. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, he looks like a shell of his shell of his former self. I'm sure if you're one of the, you know, victims of his crimes, and maybe you're happy that he looks that way. But God damn, man, he has aged significantly in a very short space of time. And it's absolutely brutal.